Hi everyone and welcome back to the OKM 3D channel. Today we are very excited to present you the iBridger i340. Uh, usually we are used to smaller desktop machines, but as you can see, it's a massive one. Uh, just out of Kickstarter, uh, it's the only for now, uh, printer in Europe. And I would like to thank Leo and his team for my bridger for all the effort they made to produce such a brilliant machine. So we're gonna go in details later on and show you in details as well all the specs of this machine. But right now I can tell you the build volume is 430, 445 by 585, which is a massive volume. Uh, temperature control, control uh, chamber, PID control, max temperature of the chamber 90 degree. The nozzle max temperature goes up to 410 degree and it's under development to go even higher. Uh, pr can print a lot of different type of material. It's open, so you can print PIC, PETG, PA6, uh, ABS, of course PLA, GF, ABS, I said it, ASA, TPU, PVA, IPS, and all kind of support material as well. Um, the layer resolution at its max is 10 micron, very accurate in terms of print. print. We are 200 micron in terms of accuracy, which is very, very good. As you can see here, you have a massive touch screen, right? That's really, really responsive and really nice to use. Uh, Built-in camera, of course. Uh, Pre-calibrated bed, okay? That's done in the manufacturer. Metal frame all around. Uh, moisture control, four different beams to put your spool of filament. They're all controlled for humidity and temperature. Very clever. And a lot, lot of clever little options and specification that you will see later on. So as, as I said, we'll see in closer uh, shot later all the specifications here. We are now going into more details about the iBridger i330. So as you can see now in the machine, so we have the big screen there, which is extremely responsive with lots of options that we will describe later on, right? So, but as you can see, it's absolutely flawless. Uh, to open the door, very easy. You have a little green key button here. You hear the click, the door is open. There we go. You can see here the thickness of that door. Uh, I must say that in the insulation of the machine to keep the heat inside is really well made. Uh, of course, with the iBridger i330, you have a massive build plate as we saw. You have flexible build plate like that. So very easy to take off the prints. Uh, the beauty as well of it, it's electromagnetic. So it really stick to the bed. The bead plate, and the bed itself make only one when the electromagnetic option is on. You can see the structure as well here with the double print head which lift off automatically. You have a sensor here, very clever options as well. Uh, no more waste. So you have a very big bin here to uh, pick up all the waste from the machine that can fall. The nozzles are clean on the wire mesh is there every time when it's switching material and so on, very clean and all the waste is falling into a container. So you never have a dirty printer anymore, which is very important as well, right? So you can see the structure, two massive ball crews with massive axes, very stable, very, very stable. And we'll see into more details other options later on. We are gonna look in details about uh, the filament container. So you have two on the right of the machine, two on the left as well. Uh, the four of them are humidity controlled. So to, of course, uh, moisture is the enemy of filament usually. Uh, and temperature controlled, right? So that makes it very easy to store your filament. And of course, uh, it will, print nicely the material you are printing because it's all down to moisture and temperature at the end of the day. You can fill in every beam one kilo spool of filament, right? We usually use two for support and two for primary material. Beams are very easy to open, okay? When one of the spool is finished, the other one is taking over, right? Uh, the filament joins and it's flawless when it comes to finish a print and a large print because the large build volume allows it. 
So you never run out of filament. And of course, when the spool is finished, you can load another one and so on. So you can print massive parts, uh, really peace of mind as well with the humidity control and temperature control. Now for a closer look on the screen itself and a different option for an overview on how it works. So you can see here uh, the two nozzle temperature. Of course, you can click on every of them and set the temperature manually. Uh, that is the chamber temperature and the time, right? You can see here the four beams of in the sp four spools of filament that we use. Of course, play starts, stop, light, and unlocked. On the second screen here, uh, you have a more detailed view of, of course, the temperature is still there, right? But as well, the feed rate, the flow rate, the fan speed uh, for every uh, nozzles, which are displayed here. What's very interesting, it's uh, the consumption of the machine uh, live, right? You can see exactly the power that it consumed by the machine as you change the settings. Um, of course, you have the door status and the status page here. You can see, of course, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Here you can control all the movement, X, Y, Z, and so on, as well as the magnetic plate, the electromagnetic plate, and you can have a lot more information on it. And here is where you display your models, basically. We're gonna show you now uh, sample prints in a few different materials that we've printed on the iBridger. Some are small, uh, some are very big, right? So you'll have a description of what material we use, and you'll have an idea about the size of the print you can produce with the iBridger i340. So now we're gonna see all the print samples that have been printed on the iBridger i340. So you have the full team, the international team of OKM 3D here. So we have massive prints made out of ABS, even bigger in PLA and PVA, so double exclusion for this one. We have helmets in uh, ABS here, flex material as well, TPU, um, ABS again, PLA, PIC, uh, reinforced ABS with carbon and PC over here as well. So we're gonna go have a closer look now at the prints, right? So that you can see the amazing quality that the iBridger i340 is producing. So now for a closer look of uh, the print samples from the iBridger. So we can see here a helmet. Uh, the definition is superb, right? We can see even with supports you don't see any difference. Very happy with the quality and the complexity of that uh, print overall. Same here with ABS. So I give you a closer look of the amazing quality of the print for such a complex parts overall. Try to go slowly. TPU, same quality overall. See the, the surface here. And of course, uh, TPU is flexible. Here we have PLA and PVA, just for to, to show you the scale of, uh, yeah, it's quite big. So to show you the scale of that print. And now, so you have some in PLA as well. So dual extrusion here, it has been printed with PVA too. So you can as well, because you change the beans and the, and the filaments, you can do multiple colors, right? Um, here, ABS as well for this ellipse. You have another one here in ABS. Very good quality overall. Pick sample here. So if you can see, the quality is absolutely amazing. So a pick print. The reinforced with carbon, again, flawless, no issues, very good quality. And here, you have the PC, so as well, that's actually PA12, so nylon here, brilliant quality. You can barely see the layers.